Good afternoon, my name is Bill Pardue, and welcome to another episode of Pardue Farms Outdoors. Well, folks, we're back at it today, deer hunting in Alabama. <clears throat> it's the uh, week after Christmas, and we've been doing a lot of holiday visiting, just like many of you do. And uh, what typically happens when I go out of town is the big bucks that we've been after show up on camera. <laughs> And that's the case over here at this uh, track that we're hunting this afternoon in northeast Alabama. Got uh, two bucks that uh, are on our hit list. And uh, yesterday evening, or really two nights in a row, we've had one show up here. So third time's a charm, right? So anyhow, uh, we're going to try to put it together this uh, evening. I've got uh, Sam and our nephew Barrett coming back into town this evening from Alabama and we're going to try to hunt tomorrow morning and uh, evening, see if we can't get Barrett his first buck. If you'll remember, Barrett's been a honored guest on our uh, episode, our, our show, for uh, some years now. He got his first deer uh, on Party Farms Outdoors a couple years ago, so we're going to try to get it done, get him a buck on the ground, but uh, this evening I'm behind the gun. We'll see what happens, so we'll catch you here in just a bit. Well, folks, I've been in the stand now about uh, 45 minutes. Nothing to show, but uh, some doves flying into the food plot, and one cat. That is a house cat. Or a field cat. Little orange looking sucker. Anyhow, uh, that sun's starting to starting to creep towards the horizon, so deer will be popping out here in just a bit. Okay folks, well this is uh, our food plot that we're hunting over this evening. The day's starting to turn to a close and the deer should start to pop out any minute. This should be where the, the stage is set for a nice harvest this evening. We got our fingers crossed. Okay folks, we got our first deer showing up. Looks like some does moving in. Two does. Okay, folks, we just have three more does move in. They actually started chasing that orange cat. <laughs> and it hightailed out. Hopefully those does are going to bring in a buck. Well, it brought in one buck. It's a big old spike. But we're after what we think is a big old six-pointer. Folks, here comes the big six. It's coming in from the right. Yep, I'm gonna take that deer. He's down. He is down. Right there. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, folks, we got the big six. He finally came out. My goodness, I've been hunting this deer for two months. Anyhow, <laughs> what, three, four days after Christmas, he decides to step out. He's a great animal. Let's go see before what we got. All righty, folks. <laughs> We finally got this joker. The big six is on the ground. <laughs> well, folks, I couldn't be more excited about this deer. <laughs> He's got a uh, crazy one horn over here, but he's got one, two, three, four, five on his left side. So anyhow, big old body deer looks to be about, I don't know, probably a four and a half year old. First deer we've harvested off of this, uh, this property. So anyhow, we're gonna go get him cleaned up and uh, head back to the house. We'll catch back up with you here in just a bit. Well, folks, we're headed back home. What a great evening hunt. Had lots of deer come in. And then finally, the buck that I've been after showed up. Um, in one sense, he was a, a coal buck for our farm. But in another sense, he became a, a living legend because every time I would go out of town, he would show up on trail camera and whenever I was in town and he showed up on trail camera I'd go hunt that next even evening and he wouldn't show up I wouldn't see him for weeks but uh, the last two evenings he showed up on trail camera and I, I guess the third time was the charm tonight so anyhow we're uh, we're excited uh, I heard that Sam and Barrett made it back, so we'll be getting up early in the morning, see if we can't get Barrett a buck on the ground as well, so. Well, folks, we're back at it again this morning, except uh, we're over here in Georgia. I got Sam and Barrett uh, with me. They're set up in a ground blind and a little hardwood draw, and uh, I'm up a tree here. That's uh. Nice, cool morning. Temperature's about 38 degrees. Clear skies. Should be a beautiful morning. Even more beautiful if uh, we can get Barrett to lay down a buck, which I think is going to happen. So we'll catch back up with you here in a bit. Well, folks, we're back at it. We uh, had a slow morning this morning hunting with Barrett and Sam. They saw one doe. I saw zero deer, but that's okay. I think the deer are gonna move this evening. I put them in a good spot. And uh, I'm actually hunting somewhere I've never hunted before, so doing some scouting. Hopefully Bear's gonna pull that trigger though. When I hear that, that will make my heart beat with joy. Well, folks, we're back at it again this morning in Georgia. We've been uh, hunting yesterday morning and yesterday evening. Didn't see a lot of movement. We had a warm front come through, and I think it's got the deer a little locked down. But this morning it is cold, about 38 degrees. We should see some movement. Again, I'm hoping that Barrett's going to pull the trigger. My goodness. We've been working hard for him, and he deserves it. So anyhow, we're listening out for a shot. 
but I'm also hunting in a new place and who knows what might walk out here. So, well, folks, we just got the shot we've been waiting for. I just got a phone call from uh, Sam. I heard a shot, but I thought it was behind me. Sam said Barrett just laid a nice buck down. So, man, I am pumped. I want to get down and go over there and see what they got. Hey, guys, Barrett just put a nice, nice shot on a deer. We could not be more proud. Um, we were both kind of looking for a doe when we heard some leaves crunching and we heard we just heard him like kind of just stepping stepping and um sure enough we were looking on the wrong side and we look up and he's right there i'm trying to get the camera on him um but barrett just i told him barrett to take him because i can't i couldn't that thing was moving so barrett tell us about it yeah we were just um me and Sam were falling asleep, and then all of a sudden we just hear these leaves crunching, like Sam said. And I just look up and I see a little bit of movement, and then all I see is antlers. And then yeah. I took the shot and dropped them. Yeah. So well, we're gonna go look for him, and um, I think he just dropped him. So I I see him. So he's not moving or anything. So we're gonna go see what he got. It looks like a nice eight to me, but look at that. It's a nice, nice look. Yes, sir, Barrett. Hold that thing up, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, guys, here we are with the deer. I'm just so excited to have this buck on the ground. It's my first buck when hunting in Georgia. And me and Sam are pumped to have this deer on the ground. For sure, for sure. Well, Barrett, I think... Dad is gonna show up here in a little bit. So we are um we are stoked to have this deer on the ground for sure. Um we hunted yesterday, um had a little bit of success, but this morning um we had a good feeling this morning that we were gonna come out and slay a deer and that's exactly what we did. So um we'll catch y'all on another episode of Party Farms Outdoors. <laughs>